Hi, in this video I want to explain what is a PCR plateau effect and for the beginning let me draw such diagram. So um, here we have a number of thermocycles. Here are going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, and usually we don't go more than 40 thermocycles. And here are going to be accumulation of the desirable product. So this is going to be product. And this is going to be log 2. So uh, our theoretical yield should be look something like this and this is going to be theoretical yield and here is a going to be uh, actual yield So as you see between 20 and uh, 30 thermocycles we have uh, separation of these two lines and uh, here we have a plateau effect where with uh, the more thermocycles we have but we don't have uh, accumulation of the final product that we see here it stays almost on the same um, quantity so why this happens and first uh, explanation is that when we start our uh, thermocycle uh, we have uh, a lot of initial uh, product that we use uh, to build new strands of DNA and this is going to be adenine triphosphate and uh, guanine triphosphate, cytosine and uh, zymine triphosphate and uh, it looks like uh, this and this is going to be base so any of the four bases so uh, these two phosphates would be cleaved away and energy would be used to build, uh, connect uh, one base with another one. So uh, we will have accumulation of this part with each cycle. This is going to be our byproduct and this is going to be a formula of this byproduct this is pyrophosphate and with each cycle we have more and more of this byproduct so if we have uh, very few at the beginning so here uh, accumulation of this product would be in higher concentration so uh, this is uh, one of the reasons uh, that uh, with each cycle we have more and more byproduct and uh, the best uh, results we are going to get uh, between 30 and 40, uh, between 20 and 30 cycles, uh, because uh, our concentration here going to be between 0 0.3 and uh, 1 picomoles, so this is going to be picomoles, and this is uh, 1 uh, picomole. 
or pico stands for 10 minus 12 so this is 1 trillion so if we exceed uh, this concentration that means that uh, we already reach our uh, plateau and probably we won't go get more uh, desirable product but with each cycle we will get more and more byproduct and uh, this is going to contaminate uh, our sample so second reason uh, also could be uh, degradation at the high temperatures that is above 90 degrees of celsius of the uh, enzymes and dntps and uh, with each cycle uh, enzymes would work uh, less and less effectively due to degradation and another reason would be formation of the primers dimers and uh, this is when uh, for example if we have uh, double stranded dna we have one primer here one primer here so these two primers uh, this one and this is primer number two they may form structures that would be uh, at this three prime end such primers may have uh, complementary bases uh, that wouldn't anneal at the beginning of the cycle but at the higher concentration they may form such primer dimers and these primer dimers can be of the two types uh, when uh, primer 1 and primer 2 forms uh, such structure and this is called a hetero primer dimer and when one dimer that can be one primer sorry that can be 20 30 uh, nucleotides may form such structure like this so it can be self complementary so also may form such structures and also may anneal to the different place that we didn't uh, uh, non-specific place uh, that we didn't design it for and uh, this also may be a result of the poor design of the primers but usually this also may happen at the higher concentration so this also inhibit uh, product formation desirable product formation another reason could be depletion of the uh, our uh, desirable uh, product that we start with like uh, um, our bases and our enzymes and uh, the degradation so uh, this is uh, the third reason so uh, the best results uh, uh, or optimal results that you can get is uh, between 20 and 30 uh, cycles, thermocycles, uh, and uh, at this point uh, we have plateau effect where you may run uh, your uh, PCR but uh, concentration of the desirable product uh, stops but uh, accumulation of the undesirable products proceed. So this is uh, this stage we usually want to avoid so uh, usually PCR uh, provides best results between 20 and 30 cycles so this is all for today thank you for attention hopefully you were able to learn something new today and uh, Please subscribe to my channel, new videos almost every day, goodbye.